so basically when I launched the application it just clicked me out so like that's kind of sad so what I'm gonna do is basically just fix that for you guys Bring it back. What is up guys, TSG Asset here coming at you with another video and in this video guys I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the uh, jailbreak detection on Pokemon and any game that you feel that is, is in need of you know uh, jailbreak detection like you know removal. With that being said guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so not so you can get more videos just like this. Anyways guys let's get straight into this video. The things that you need in this video is obviously a jailbreak. You have to be in a jailbreaking device. So guys this is a uh, modified uh, Pokemon on uh, Pokemon Go game and uh, apparently I can't use it because I have a jailbreak so you know what I'm gonna do is basically you know undo it so that I can actually play the game without um, interruption. So basically when I launch the application it just clicked me out so like that's kind of sad so what I'm gonna do is basically just fix that for you guys so with that being said guys the first thing that you want to do is you want to go on Cydia alright guys so once you're on Cydia what you need to do now is basically go on where it says uh, search so what you need to do is basically type in Falza and you want to install the 64 bit one and uh, yeah guys once you have done that good jazz so basically install this one Alright guys, so once you have installed this application, the Files application, what you need to do now is basically install this thing, this some, something else. So, so basically what you want to do is install this other thing, it's called LBKRW. And you want to install basically the first one, so let's go here and install that. Boom. And once you have installed, just tap on respawn or return to Cydia. And once you have done all that good jazz, all you need to do now is back out. And once you're on out, what you need to do is you want to go on this website. I want to leave it in the description. It's called uh, the it's, it's basically a GitHub application uh, website. So I'm gonna leave the link down in the description so it's easier for you guys to you know go on it. So what I'm gonna do is go on the up uh, the website. And guys, once you're on the website, it's gonna look like this. All you need to do now is basically tap on where it says assets. And once you've tapped on assets, you're gonna find that there's like a dub right there. So let's go here and tap and install this dub right here. So this is a dub file. And the guys, remember when I told you guys to install files up with basically what we're gonna do is basically use this to install on the dab in the files application. So let's go here and tap on that. And once you have tap on it, this thing is gonna pop up telling you hey you wanna install it. So let's go here and tap on download. And once you've downloaded it, it's gonna be like right on the top corner. Let's go here and, and click on that. And there it is, is your dub. All you need to do now, mama go up once. So and all you gotta do is just basically tap on it and once you've done that good jazz just tap on this other thing right here uh, basically that's, a, that's like a share button so <laughs> let's go here and tap on that and once you've done that good jazz you want to keep scrolling until you find Falza which we installed at the beginning of the video so let's go ahead and tap on that and once you've done that good jazz it's basically gonna be right here which is gonna be the highlighted one so let's go here and tap on that and once you've done that good jazz all you need to do now is basically tap on install boom and once you've installed it, all you need to do now is basically tap on action. And you want to tap on UI, uh, UI cache first. So let's go here and tap on that. And you just want to be patient about this one. So let's go here and wait for it real quick. Alrighty guys, so it is done. Now all you got to do now is basically tap on action again. And this time what you need to do now is basically respring your device. And everything's going to be respring. And basically what this is going to do is basically apply everything. And all you need to do now is basically tap in your password. And let's go here and actually test out the uh, application. And now I'm going to explain to you why this application is kind of a, a bit dangerous. And it's a bit risky for you. So guys, let me drag this over here so that I can explain it better. Um, so guys, when you enable this application, so let's go here on the application. It's basically going to look like this. And if yours does not look like this and has a picture, that means it's a fake one. I'm just <laughs> what you need to do is basically tap on this little white thing you jig and all you gotta do and it's it, it, it read right there it says use it at your own risk so like basically all you need to do is basically enable it and it should say enable right there and it should say disable in blue and once you have enabled it guys you cannot launch Cydia so that's like basically the down like the, the flaw right there so let's, if you if you try to install uh, to um, <laughs> If you try to launch Cydia, it's basically not going to work. So I try to launch Cydia, it's not working. And guys, don't freak out about this because this is basically part of the process. So now that I have enabled the jailbreak detection app, basically I will be able to um, go on Pokemon. You see, as you can see, now I'm able to like go on Pokemon, do whatever I want. But 
So as you can see right there, it's told me to like, you know, set up everything because it knows that I'm not jailbroken. But now when I go back into sit on uh, the this uh bypass and I and I disable it. So let's go here and wait for the disable to finish up. And it said disabled. And now when I launch up Cydia, it's basically going to work. And when I launch up Pokemon, it's going to crash. And guys, that is basically it. That is uh, all you need to do and all you need to know. And that's basically the end of the video. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you didn't, please leave a dislike. Thank you again for watching this video. THC Asset is signing off. In the squad, I've been making more videos than I thought. I've been quitting every single week, every day. Every day has been the hardest for me, but I keep going, yeah, keep going.